Hi, can I speak to a manager, please? Uh, let me check on that one second. Thank you. Actually, our supervisor on duty is in the restroom right now. Is there maybe anything I can help you with? Yeah, possibly. My name's uh, Karen. Uh, not to be confused with the the female name Karen. Uh, I just, I, I'm really irate about a certain situation. I just moved to Texas from California with my partner, and we just found out that the governor now is not going to be mandating masks. And Correct. we're trying to find a safe space that we can go to that will still enforce masks to get our coffee, to hang out and chat. Uh, and we're having a very difficult time finding this. Do you know uh, if you guys will still be uh, enforcing these masks? Um, actually, I do not know. Um, I, would, I would see us as enforcing it, but, you know, like I said, I can't really... I don't really have enough uh, information to make to make an informed decision like that. Well, um, do, do you think your supervisor would know? Because I mean, this is uh, this is we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm shocked that you guys don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, so with the, with Starbucks, I mean, sorry, I used to be a supervisor. I I kind of took myself down a little bit, so I'd have a little more little information on it. But as far as everything as far as everything goes, they've been uh, giving us information like as as it happens, you know. Um, we haven't heard anything yet about if we're going to be mandating masks or not. That's still, you know, since it only came out a couple of days ago, I'm still they're still working up the ironing out the details and everything about it. Well, I mean, I, I'm sure you agree with me. This is absolutely insane, isn't it? Almost a, a million people have died, and and you know, do, do you listen to Fauci and, and and Biden? I'm sorry. What was the question again? Oh, do you listen to Fauci and Biden? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, well, they've act really. I'm shocked. Uh, they've actually come out and said specifically that wearing two masks is better than wearing one mask. And, and what's the saying? Uh, the more you wear, the more you care. And now we come to Texas, and they're saying don't wear a mask. Right. Yeah. It, how insane is that? They're literally going against uh, the president's uh, recommendation. And I assume, and I'm hoping that my assumption is correct, that Starbucks will be a little obedient and do the right thing in the middle of this pandemic. Well, that's what I assume, but we don't, like I said, we don't have to wait and find out. Um, I, I mean, the problem is it's it's hard coming from a Cal, from California where you're free to go everywhere. You, you know, you're living in a, a – you can go out and you know that everyone's going to be wearing the masks. And then you come down to Texas and – it's the, the opposite of a free state. You, you know, people that are uh, at, at risk or that are afraid of catching COVID, they're almost being treated as second-class citizens and have to almost be segregated from people that just want to selfishly not wear a mask, you know? Yeah. And it, it, it's just, it's so difficult, and I'm trying my hardest not to get angry. But, my gosh, it's absolutely insane out here, it, you know? I, yeah, I, I do understand that. Uh, you know what's unfortunate is everybody has a you know has a different way of thinking. So you, you know, you have people who are you know wanting to protect everybody at their own cost, and then you still have the people who want to go out and do what they were doing before the pandemic hit, like with you know specifically their freedoms and everything. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a struggle trying to figure out exactly what's gonna be going on and how many people are gonna be in the stores. But I agree with you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely crazy times. Yeah, I mean the thing is the only way to get through this, it, it, and Fauci has said this. Doctor Fauci has specifically said that we need to be obedient and uh you know as I, i'm sure i don't know if you've seen uh my partner and i we come down we have the labradoodle we even make our our dog wear a mask and the thing is obviously the dog's not going to probably catch covid but it's just a show of statement and solidarity with uh the community and to show people that we do care you know mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine. If, if you went to San Francisco right now and you were not wearing a mask, you'd be chased out of town. Uh, I mean, right. pe people need to start falling in line and listening to, uh, you know, to science. Right? I agree to an extent, yes. Uh, what do you mean to an extent? I mean, I have my own differing opinions about everything, which I really wouldn't care to discuss right now, but... Do you, well, I mean, do, kind of like I kind of fall halfway in between what you're saying and halfway in between what the people of Texas want. So, well, do, do you consider yourself obedient? That way? Do you consider yourself obedient? Uh, if to an extent, not you know, not not obedient at, at the first step. 
Well, what, okay, so how I, about... I consider, my, I consider myself a free thinker, so if somebody tells me something, yes, I, I'm trying to go along with, you know, what they want, but if it starts not making sense in my mind, then I'll, just, then I'll start to question it. Well, that, that's kind of shocking to hear from a Starbucks employee, because I, I, I thought that you guys were pretty much all obedient. Like, oh, here's an example. If, okay, well, like I said, is it, is it, are, you, are you talking about obedience as, to, as far as Starbucks rules, or are you talking about obedience as far as, I mean... Listening to the president, I mean, that our president, you know, Biden and Fauci and everyone, they've clearly stated that we have to wear two, well, we should wear two masks. And, you know, they said if in two years, if we double mask up and we get through this, we'll be over with. And people, and by not wearing uh, a mask at all, we could be doing this indefinitely. Uh, here's an example. If Starbucks told you that you that you had to have a vaccine to work there, you would get one, right? Mm, I don't know, actually. Yeah, really? Really? I thought everyone was on board with the vaccine. Well, as, well, as, not everybody. Well, it's, you know, you, aside from the, the few nut jobs that, that don't want to get the vaccine, but the majority of everyone that I talk to... So, wait, are you saying that I'm a nut job if I don't want the vaccine? I wouldn't say you're a nut job, but I mean, I, I would love to hear the reasoning why you wouldn't get the vaccine. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, with because I'm on uh, business time right now, I'd rather really rather not discuss that. Well, just really short. Why would why, it just you'd be protecting others? It's not even just about protecting yourself. It's like the mask. You wear a mask to protect other people, and you would get the vaccine to protect other people, right? Yeah. What about vaccines causing autism and everything? Yeah, but the thing is, if it's going to save, oh, let's just say this: What if only one out of a uh, hundred or a thousand people got autism? And you were able to save millions and millions of lives. I think that's a risk worth taking, right? If you could just save one life. It's like, like I said, I'd really rather not discuss this, and I could not be in possible trouble. Well, I, not, just, like I said, it's all my my differing opinion, and uh, yeah, I'd really rather not discuss that. But if you really still want to talk to the supervisor, I can transfer you over. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Sure, give me a second. Thank you.